Hey guys, Shay with the Y Heat. Time for a market update for the 11th of October. What can I tell you what's happening? What's the market today? Well, the market today is stronger on reds and whites. You're seeing yellows, at least the medium and jumbo sizes are up as well. Colossals and super colossals are down. So let me give you those numbers really quick and I'll explain the reasoning behind that, at least my thought process here in just a second, but you're going to see super colossal and colossal yellows trading for between six and a half and seven and a half. That's a dollar a week, weaker than uh, what it was about a week ago. Jumbo yellows are six to six and a half and they're up about a quarter per bag compared to what they were a week ago. That's actually firmed up. Medium, six and a half to seven, probably closer to six and a half, but I'm, there are $7 sales out there. Whites, you, I've seen about a $2 to $3 increase on 50 pound jumbo whites over the course of the last week. You could buy for $10, I'd say they're closer to 12 to 13 on those same jumbo whites, mediums down a dollar. Um, reds, sorry for all the ums in this one too. Reds, jumbo red is up to six and a half to seven. That's up about 50 cents. Mediums are a dollar a dollar down from there as well. Where the real increases have come on the reds are on the 50 pound units for Mexico. Those were selling for fairly significantly discounted rates a week to 10 days ago. They were up two bucks this week alone. So I think that's gonna be noticed in what the 25 pound prices do as well. The outlook, well, let me tell you a little bit on, on harvest or a harvest update. We're in harvest or we're in the storage in most locations. We're a hundred percent done on our farm uh, with about 700 acres under a roof. The Treasure Valley is probably 90 to 95 percent completed. There is rain in the forecast, but they can handle a single rain. So we're probably good. Washington completed their harvest um, as far. Well, for most people, the harvest is is completely done at this point in time. So that puts the Treasure Valley and Washington, Oregon done, buttoned up and put away. That means we should experience good quality for the remainder of the season. So why are we seeing prices higher on whites and reds? Well, Mexico's in and buying guys and Mexico's first preference is a white onion. Their second preference is a red onion and their last preference is a yellow onion. At least that's generally the case. It's not working out exactly that way this time. That's too long of a story for a quick market update like this. So I'll leave that alone, but I would keep an eye on white onions, white onions for now, white onions for the remainder of the season will get pricier and pricier and pricier. And the same thing with the reds. They're just too small of a percentage of our total planning. And Mexico has cleaned out any excess volume that was out there on reds and whites. And that will be reflected in increased, well, in, in increased increases in pricing in the current market. And you're gonna just see increasing prices probably on a weekly or monthly basis for the remainder or the duration of the storage season. And that's my two cents for you. Hope you guys are doing well. We'll catch you later.